Oh, hey kids, I didn't see you standing there. Welcome to Brad's Big Adventures annual Christmas special. Brad, what? No, no, it's our first Christmas special. Not annual, it's our first. All right. Oh, hey kids, I didn't see you standing there. Welcome to Brad's Big Adventures our Christmas special. Brad, Brad. What? We're still only a half hour show. We, we, oh, can't, we can't afford an hour. Yeah, well, it's too expensive. Oh, hey, kids, I didn't see you standing there. Welcome to Brad's Big Adventures Christmas Special. Now follow the bouncing ball. Brad, we don't have the bouncing ball. Oh, okay. We have graphics, lower thirds, but no bouncing ball. All right, then roll the opening graphics. Action! Welcome to Brad's Big Adventures Grandiose Christmas Extravagant Special, presented by Urban Fudge Factory. With appearances by former Arizona Cardinal Andre Wadsworth, from Malcolm in the Middle, Frankie Muniz, and a special appearance by our mystery celebrity BFF. And more on the Urban Fudge Factory's Brad's Big Adventures Grandiose Christmas Extravagant Special. This portion of Brad's Big Adventures is brought to you by Huss Brewing Company. Brad's Big Adventures Grandioso Christmas Extravagant Special is brought to you by the Urban Fudge Factory. Santa, I want a Red Ryder BB gun with a compass in the stock. What? No, I won't shoot my eye out. <sighs> okay, I know I won't shoot my eye out by making ice cream with a former Cardinals player. Everybody loves a great holiday treat, um, and some do gingerbread houses, cookies, and everything. I want to do ice cream, but in a different kind of way. It's called Chemistry. Did I say it right, Andre? Yes, uh, with your ebonics, it's close. It's close. It's close. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Say it. Chemistry. Chemistry. It's dealing with the cream and the chemistry, basically the science of ice cream. And that's why we have the Dr. Ice Cream here with me. Yes. As you guys all know him, he is from our uh, wonderful uh, Cardinals. It is the man, the myth, the legend himself, Andre Wildworth. I don't, I don't know so. about the, maybe the man, but I don't know about the myth or the legend. This is not the typical ice cream because no. this is all made. At your request, yes, right? Yes, made to order. This is the only made to order ice cream the way we do it here in Arizona. Um, it's uh, when you walk in through the door, uh, there is no ice cream. You tell us exactly what you want. You're going to get a premium grade, the richest, creamiest ice cream. And I'm not, you know, making this stuff up. It's legit. But what I love this, parents and kids at home, it's a science because. A lot of people know that you make ice cream by putting ice in a bucket. If you ever done it like we did in the Midwest, put it in the bucket, you stir it, you got salt and everything like this. But you guys are using liquid nitrogen, yes. negative 321. All right. Very, very cold. So and opposite what black people like, but <laughs> it's very, very cold. I did. I was like, two things: we don't like we don't like danger, and we don't like cold. cold. Let's get going. This is going to be fun mm -hmm. because there's some other things you guys are doing here too. But the ice cream's pretty easy and quick yes. to make, right? Yeah, very easy and quick to make. We're going to make cookies and cream. Okay. So you already got your base. So we need our Oreos here. Okay? Oh yeah. So, so you see here. Oreos? Yes, yes. So and it's been very busy here. So you guys yes. got to come in. How many Oreos? Wait, wait, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Do you want to put that in there? Net? Yeah. You want to put it right in oh, here? Oh, put it in there? Yes, because we're going to mix it in together. Oh, I see. So you want to put? How many? Want to put four in there? So you already four? got. There you go. So that's going to. We already got four in there. Unless you wanted more. I just want to just, yeah, I just want to see what happens. No, okay, you want to see what happens. Yes. You're a curious kid. <laughs> of course, it's ice cream and bacon. If I'm lactose, lactose intolerant yes, or anything. we have vegan options. We have our coconut base and cashew base, and also we have our sorbet. All right, now where do we go? We're gonna go straight here to the. You guys got peanut butter to, there. To the freezing station. All right. Oh, this is the freezing station. Okay, so, so we gotta lock that in there. Okay, so right. we're gonna get our nitrogen going. So again, don't try this at home. All right. So, so we got that coming out. Yes. Okay. As soon as we start seeing the liquid, what's the liquid look like? You'll see it's clear. Right now, you see a lot of gas that's coming out. So oh, that, there you go. And that's it right there. That's it right there. You want to put the oh, cookies yeah, in there? Yeah, put the cookies in. Just, just pour them in. Put them in there. Oh, that's cold. That's real, real ice cream there. Nice. And you hear it getting hard right there? Yeah. And then once you hear that getting, getting hard. Ooh, look inside here, George. You see that? Yeah. So now what do we have to do? So then once we take it there, you take the paddle off, uh -huh. and then there's this this call our uh, this hot water right here that now you Ooh, see that. Oh, you hear this crack? Yeah, so you hear that? See how you just this scoop that? Pretty, yeah, and then it just cools it down. To it cools it down, and it's gonna you're gonna start seeing the creamy texture that it gets for ice cream. We get our scooper. Oh, this I know to do this. Can I scoop? Yes. You know how? To, now you want to jump in? Yeah, that's that's <laughs> right there. This is what I trained for. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Scoop it. Don't don't take away my joy to the show that I can do. 
See, this is how you do it. You put it up in here, and you go like this, and BAM! Your creation. My creation. I like this. But I'm not done creating, right? There's something else I can do. What do you need to do? Go make some cake. You can make some cake, too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> make back some cake. Come on, we're going to make cake. They're starting something new here, and that is ice cream cakes. And with me is the man who is coming up with those ideas, Chef Newton Jit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No, I'll get, I'm just excited. I'm sorry. Making an ice cream cake isn't like what we think it is, is it? it? It is not. So basically, ice cream melts at a certain temperature, and it, it melts in a certain minute. Right. So for a person to ice a cake, to prepare it, ice it, to finish it off, you have exactly 22 minutes to finish every ice cream cake off. We're using the ice cream here, so this is actually done nitro, right? This is all the nitro? Right, yes. Everything so. is made in-house, and everything is decorated in-house. All right, so what do we do now? Am I ready? You are ready. All right, what do we do? So we basically, we're going to slap a whipped cream on top. That's it, I'm done. Yes, you are done. <laughs> Not quite, right. though. All right. Now, now take use, the tool. Using your spatula. Okay. Index. Index finger. And just follow exactly what I do and rub it across on top. Wait, what do you, oh, like this, like that? Something very similar. If you're holding their spatula straight. Straight like that? And then yes, and turn it. Okay. There you go. And like that? We're going to get a little cream. Okay, And we're going to ice the side, just like this. And just ice it? With your just, spatula up. Oh, man. Like, how we do that? How you, like this? Yes. How's that? You're a pro. Is that there? Perfect. Right? Yes. Yeah? So now how long will this stay? How long, how long will I have a chance to eat this? So take it right home and eat it, right? Yes, of course. Okay. Now you're holding a spatula exactly like how you're going to hold your pencil. Okay. Well, there we go. Okay. And then you're going to put it on the bottom. Okay. And turn the turntable. Turn the turntable. Uh-huh. Like that? Faster. Faster. And then we're going to lift it up. To make the design. Oh, we're design. We're making a design. Yes. This is called a piping bag. All right. so oh yeah, I know those. You know those. Yeah, I know a piping bag. I love doing that. This I can do. Sure now. Yes. Excellent. Because I got to make it look like that one, George. So. Okay. So. Basically, you're gonna hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're gonna make eight dots. Oh, just dots. Little big so ones. Like, just like. No, not that big. Oh, like that. Yes. So we'll go like this. Okay. Eight and one them. more? Eight. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's the final decoration? You're actually going to put five to six big pearls in the center. Five or six big pearls. Are these real pearls? Those are edible pearls. Edible pearls? So just come here. Two. Medium sized pearls. Medium sized and, pearls. And just going to go around. Spring the big, around. Big pearls. Around the big pearls. Like that? Exactly. Perfect. Look at this. I've made a cake. I've made a Cremistry cake. And we finalize it with Cremistry logo. Cremistry logo, look at that. Is this edible? It is white chocolate. No, you can't eat I it. Can't, you gotta yeah, put it I gotta put it there. No discounts for Where you. Where do I put it? Where, just anywhere or just you have a. Just like that. There Bam. you go. All right, wow, that was great. Thank you, Andre. Thank you, Dr. Ice Cream. Oh, thank so you. Look for at coming. how many locations again? Six locations. Six locations. Uh, great holiday treats uh, from cakes to, of course, the uh, the chemistry ice cream. Is it is it actually ice cream? Is yes, it is. Very. We actually it is the ice cream. It's the only ice cream. I love it. There you go. <laughs> All right. I've done my work. I got something else to do. Paige, I just want you guys to say. You know, hey, Brad, my best friend, incredible on Brad's Big Adventure. Why are you looking at me like that? Just I want you to say Brad's Big Adventures. Well, we that we just met, so. But can you, can you just, please, Christmas time, can you just try, just, no. Well, okay, we'll do, we got it, we got it. Right. Hey, I'm Frankie Munez. And I'm Paige. And we want to wish you a very happy holidays from outrageous olive oils and vinegars and Brad's Big Adventures. Yes! I got it! Woo! Woo Alright! Woo! There we go! I'm taking the mic too. This portion of Brad's Big Adventures is brought to you by the Creamistry. Brad's Big Adventures is brought to you by the Kegsmiths. It's Brad's Big Adventures! Grandioso! 
Christmas Extravagant Special. Brought to you by the Urban Fudge Factory. Welcome back to Brad's Big Adventures Grandioso Christmas Extravagant Special brought to you by the Urban Fudge Factory. There's a lot of places to see Christmas lights around Arizona with your family, but here in Old Town Scottsdale, the Coach House has been doing Christmas lights for the grown-ups since 1959, as well as serving a stiff side of holiday cheer. Drew, this place is crazy. Someone even took my uh, scarf for right now, I guess Christmas pictures, but this is the adult Christmas headquarters in Scottsdale, am I right? Absolutely. Coach House has been around for how long? Uh, we're going on 60 years this April. Wow. And then I understand that you guys spend all this time decorating these lights. These lights aren't always here, are they? No. They go up right after Halloween, and then they come down right after the Super Bowl. And it started with a few strands of lights, and then it kind of grew to this. And, you know, after generations of people coming in, family, friends, uh, people coming home for the holidays, they want to go out and get a drink, and this is the place. They're very, uh, how can we say, friendly drinks here, am I right? <laughs> uh, you know what we do? We do a, a, a good drink at a fair price. Can I get my favorite drink? As he's doing that, this is really good here. Inexpensive but healthy drinks, right? That's right. And then the best part I like is that, when, what time do you open? We open at 6 a.m. every day. And what time do you close? 2 a.m. And then how many days a week? Seven days a week, 365 days a year. Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's. Easter, all the big ones. And you'll be amazed how many people here are on, who are here on Christmas Eve and then, of course, Christmas Day, avoiding the family. <laughs> okay, I gotta find my scarf. All right, all right. 60 years the coach house has been around, huh? Wow, man, that's impressive. Well, I'm heading down the street to a place in Old Town Scottsdale where the new owners banks on you finding the outrageous gift for that special chef in your life. Christmas time, and I have, of course do my Christmas shopping, get some oils for uh, cooking and some, you know, things like this. And so I, I wonder what they have here. I have to what, Frankie Muniz? What in the world are you doing? This is outrageous. What are you doing here? This is literally outrageous olive oils and vinegars, and uh, my fiance and I own this little store. Get out of here, pa Oh my God, Paige is here too. This is awesome. So, and, and I, you guys have been just crazy with this, because that's why I heard about it. That not even knowing you guys were here, but just through people like wanting to get the olive oil from the farmers market. And now you have a store. Yeah, we've had the store. The store has actually been here for about 10 years. We took it over May 1st, so this is our first kind of holiday season. We take pride in the fact that we have the highest quality, ultra premium, extra virgin olive oil. Hundreds of flavors, balsamics from Modena, Italy, tons of pairings. It's, it's amazing. It's fun. What's the favorite one here so far? Uh, well, we, we each have our own favorites. I mean, once you start pairing them together, so if you pair the oils with the balsamics, you can obviously make different flavors and different usages. Like, you can use it for bread dipping, salads, marinades, health, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do. My favorite's actually over here. It's the Persian lime infused olive oil with the cranberry pear white balsamic. To me, it makes it the best salad dressing. I was never a salad eater. Like, I'm kind of, you know me, I'm a yeah. pretty unhealthy guy. <laughs> but <laughs> That's what I was going to say. How'd you get healthy like this? I know, but this store kind of changed my perspective. You know, you can do with flavors, and, you know, Paige is an amazing, amazing cook, and she has a lot of fun kind of putting things together. But this is, you can get me to eat any salad if you put this on it. Just take a shot. Just, yep. This is a little... Just fruit juice Mmm. Oh my goodness, that's good. I love it. And you guys do all of it right here in the store? Yeah, we bottle, we put the labels on, everything. This is awesome. What, okay, what made you guys want to do a, a, a store? We just kind of came across it randomly, and I love cooking, so he, he really is the one who offered, and I was <laughs> like, okay, we got to do it. We were looking for something to do together, you know, and... You know, this seemed like a lot of fun. What is this? Spockluti green chili pepper. Spicy. Yeah, I'm a little spicy. What's it called? <laughs> You're a little spicy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at the pants. <laughs> All right, so what's this? It's bakluti green chili pepper oil. Okay. With pineapple balsamic. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. All right. Great for chicken or for kebab. Ooh! Or for that beats his. I'm sorry, I didn't want to say anything. I don't want to start a fight, but that's pretty good. You've done TV, you've done film. Do you really work in the store? I don't just work in the store. I live and breathe this store. So let's go. I want to see him work. Let's go fill a bottle. Let's do it. How many times a day do you have to tell him get something done? 
Oh, it's endless. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so these are the ultra premium extra virgin olive oils. So it's the highest standard of olive oil in the world. It's also the freshest olive oil in the world. We switch hemisphere every six months. So right now everything comes from the southern hemisphere because they crush in May and June. And in about a month we'll switch back to northern hemisphere. So everything will then come from Italy, Portugal, Spain, California because they're crushing right now. So that's what sets us apart. That's what makes us different. Can I try my own? Yeah, let's see. All right, I'm going to try my own. Don't spill. Don't spill. All right, and which one am I doing here? I'm doing it's a Koroniki. It's Koroniki? A Koroniki. This one's from Ch Chile. Um, Use that in a sentence. Um, I love this Koroniki olive oil. All right, hold this. Okay. All right, and so what do I, and this is pretty much, and this is what you guys do all day, right? All day. And just kind of, do I have to let air or anything out of it, it? It's getting air from the top, so it's, so you can watch it filling. You see it down there coming up? And when it gets to the top, slow it down. Not yet. <laughs> you start slowing it down. Slow it down. Ah! Whoa! That came, wow. Wow. Is that too much? It's a little too much, but at least you didn't spill it. So nice. We're, we are hiring. We have uh, some prepackaged gifts, um, pre-wrapped with uh, kind of essentials. You know, the Tuscan herb, garlic oil, basil, things that everyone really kind of needs in their kitchen. We also have like these cool little sample, little mini bottles, so you can you can take a bunch of them home and see which ones work for what you're doing. What do you want for Christmas, Frankie? Oh man, um, <laughs> I want a uh, oh, <laughs> red, 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 no? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say red rocket. Um, <laughs> God, okay, all right. he doesn't. Wow, I got, I got him stumped there. What do you want for Christmas? I want a trip to Thailand. Oh, whoa, well. So yeah. please come in and buy our oils. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That sounds expensive. <laughs> all right, I gotta do some shopping. Oh. Isn't it outrageous? I found Frankie in the middle of Old Town Scottsdale. All right, enough of this craziness and shopping. It's time for me to go chill at the Harkins Secret Theater with my special BFF. Brad's Big Adventures Grandiose Christmas Extravagant Special, presented by the Urban Fudge Factory. This portion of Brad's Big Adventures is brought to you by Outrageous Olive Oils and Vinegars. Am I tired from all this Christmas fun? Well, I'm going to go check out some movies in the Harkins Camel View Theater's secret theater called The Freezer. Oh my God, Derek, you're still oh. eating? We shot the promo almost like two months ago. I know, I'm actually done with that bag. I'm on to another one. Oh my God. I love this stuff. Oh, Wait, why are you so sweaty? Oh my God, I've been out there braving the holiday shopping. Why? Because it's something that is supposed to. Whoa. I know it's a blast, but listen, during the holidays, all you have to do is you have to come to a theater, a Harkins theater. Do you know how many movies there are to pick from this holiday season? Oh, my God. And this oh freezer, God. what is this all about? Oh, my gosh. The freezer. First of all, it's not cold, is it? No, it's like nice. I know you're rocking the nice holiday scarf, but Thank the you. freezer is anything but cold. This is the Harkins' new private screening room right here at the Camel View location. You can come in. You can rent the space. They've got 16 seats. They've actually got some extra seats, so I think it fits up to 24 people. It comes with all the power. Popcorn and soft drinks you want, it's a great deal. I love it. All right, you got some holiday movies you want me to check out, don't you? A lot of them. All right, let's go check them out. Okay. A lot of holiday movies coming mm -hmm. out, but you got a couple of favorites, don't you? Okay, first of all, did you see the 1964 original Mary Poppins? Chim chimity, chim chimity, chim chim shiree. Is that all you know? <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's it for me, too. Um, they've redone it. It's actually a sequel, Mary Poppins Returns, and it stars Lin Manuel Miranda, but Mary Poppins, oh, I've got a little girl crush, I'll admit. I sat down with Emily Blunt. Mary Poppins, you came back. You seem hardly to have aged at all. Really? One never discusses a woman's age, Michael. Yeah, that might be true, but we can discuss how charming this film is. Get ready to relive your childhood. Emily Blunt makes Mary Poppins her own in Mary Poppins Returns. I feel like you have given me my Christmas gift early. What can we get you? For the holidays. Oh, uh, right now I will take some throat coat because uh, I am uh, uh, mid junket. It feels like we've been sitting on a secret for a year and a half. We wrapped uh, production on this in May of 2017, and they've been drawing penguins uh, ever since uh, to get it ready for our big premiere. So I, I can't wait for the world to see it. Off we go. Blunt is fantastic, but for me, this movie helped in another way. I am a big bathtub person. Are you? Which is why I was scarred after A Quiet Place. I know. And the bathtub scene. <laughs> but you have replaced oh it my God. with a fabulous bathtub scene. No one has made that correlation. I wasn't what? even aware of it. How refreshing are you? You've come in with a question I have not 
Being well, you honest. know what? I'm almost offended. No one else caught on to that because I literally couldn't get that scene out of my head until now. Because who wouldn't want to take a bath with a dolphin? Oh, I know. Oh. I know, Brad. I know. It brings you right back to your childhood, doesn't it? Did. It, it was is amazing. emotional. It's magical. Oh. Emily Blunt can do no wrong. And Lin Manuel Miranda. I never got to see the original Hamilton cast. I ended up getting a chance to go after he finished his run. He is so talented. Oh, I'll tell you, it was, Mary it's Poppins good. returns. Oh, all right. Hey, wait a minute. What? Are you going scuba diving yeah. after this? You no. You said we're gonna go to Aquaman. We're gonna meet up with him, right? Oh. So I'm ready to go. I like the outfit. A, it's not a dive film. B, Aquaman's outfit is a little bit cooler than the getup that you have. You're what, 6'4"? Yeah. Can I tell you something? Jason Momoa, he's all man. Take a look. A son of the land and a son of the seas. Mother always knew you were special. In the film, there's a, there's a line, your mother always knew you were special. Yeah. When did you learn that? My mother had... You know, she grew up completely opposite to how I did, and she made it her duty, being a single mother who worked many jobs, to raise me, which she says beautiful. She wanted to raise me, so she knew she was that I knew I was beautiful in the sense that just really loved and and supported and 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 uh, she gave me that confident confidence. Like I've always had um, that. From her. You're on the cover of Men's Health and you know from dad bod to beach bod, but I say we do a little beach bod to dad bod. So when you want your dad bod back, what's the first thing you go for? Boom! Let me show oh, you. Oh yeah, where is it? I'm gonna be here right now. <laughs> Bring it in. Bring some for oh is it bread? It's okay, bread let's, let's and see how butter. you do it. Okay, so you just down the bread and butter. Cheese? Prosciutto, pasta. <laughs> Beer. Yeah, the moment they said cut, I'm like, I'm just gonna eat. <laughs> when do you have to do one of these again? Am I affecting like your next project right now? No, I'm okay. on a project now where I can be fat <laughs> and go like I can just let it go. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! You can't beautiful. cry. You can't cry after every interview I do. Why it made beautiful. sense for Mary Poppins Returns. You know who's beautiful? Jason Momoa. This has only happened to me one other That's time. What I'm saying that man. I know. I'm just saying. I've seen mm. the guy before, right? Yeah. I've seen Game of Thrones. I know who he is. Right. It wasn't until I actually saw him in person that I thought, okay, I'm sorry. Let me call my husband and just let him know that this is my new guy. It was The Rock before, but I think he's been dethroned by Aquaman Jason. Well, I'm just saying, that's my goal. So watch out. <laughs> I'm getting in shape, bro. Jason, you got nothing to worry about. Don't even Lisa worry. Lisa Bonet. Well, How you doing? I think she's very happy. <laughs> All right, let's talk cars because, again, kids love cars. Yep. Adults love cars. Men love cars. Uh, somebody's got their own movie. Somebody's got their own movie. It's a prequel to all the Transformers films. It's called Bumblebee. Who didn't love Bumblebee? And finally, we get to learn more about Bumblebee's origins, and it stars another really big guy, John Cena. Bumblebee has his own movie, also an origin story. It's an emotional movie. I mean, one of my friends, we left the screening yesterday, she goes, they remade E.T. It was wow. that cool and emotional. Wow. Did you ever have a relationship with your car? Is there a car that kind of means a lot to you? It's amazing to think that um, you can create a relationship with an inanimate object like that, and, that, and it's a real thing, um, whether it's your car or anything, um, an alien for that matter, a robot. Um, and yeah, I think, I mean, I grew up in a car driving to auditions and and obviously at a time that I wasn't driving so um, I do have connections to my like my mom's car in that sense and and my first car that's that's something you never forget um, you know experiencing what was it what was your first car so um, uh -oh. I drove no no I drove a Mercedes I did a campaign with Mercedes a no texting and driving campaign and in return they uh, loaned me a car for a little bit what is your best asset or your strategy when it comes to fighting a transformer Never giving up. Mm -hmm. Easily never giving up. That's a, that's a daunting task. That's kind of intimidating. Has anything ever intimidated you? Life in its entirety, every single day. But really? It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, facing those uncomfortable situations and getting past them that I think is the, the wonderful journey. Do you have a holiday tradition? I know this is going to air kind of during the holidays. Do you have a tradition? Uh, I've had a few. I think the one tradition that has been steadfast over time is uh, the peop me getting together with the people I love. We've been through phases where we do certain sort of dinners or ugly sweater or like um, sort of some sort of gift ceremony, but like that changes, it's come and gone. The one thing that remains the same is I spend time with the folks I love. Oh my God!
sad. It's, what? it's not a sad. It's not a tra well. It might be a tragedy depending on what kind of a movie critic you are. You know, there are so many movies. There's stuff for the family. There's stuff for romance, drama, everything. But one of my favorites from the guy who won the Oscar for Moonlight a few years ago, Barry Jenkins. His new one is called If Beale Street Could Talk. It's based on the 1974 novel from James Baldwin. It is a love story. Um, it's beautiful. I cried just listening to the score of this film. Um, so I encourage you to see that one. But again, tons to pick from. I love it. All right. And let's also talk Christmas mm. because this is really cool. Stocking stuffers. You know who gets a Harkins loyalty cup for her grandma every year? Oscar winner Emma Stone, who grew up here in Arizona, the birthplace of Harkins. She grew up watching movies at Harkins. Um, this is the new one, the 2019 one. It's 650, comes with your first fill, and then you bring this to the theater all year long, dollar fifty refills. I love it. And then don't forget Christmas cards. It's great to give uh, to continue watching all the movies and stuff, which you get is fun. All the information on Harkins.com. I love it. I love it. What do you want for Christmas, Tara? Oh, Brad, I'm so blessed. You know what I want for Christmas? I want everybody to tune in to Brad's Big Adventures. <laughs> Oh. I, know. I know, I know, you got to calm down. Are you menopausal? I'm so sorry about this. Don't forget, Brad's adventures could become your adventures, maybe minus the tears. So watch Brad on social media and everything else you've got going on. Happy holidays, everybody. Sorry about this. Brad's Big Adventures Grandioso Christmas Extravagant Special has been brought to you by the Urban Fudge Factory, Hus Brewing Company, Crema Street, Outrageous Olive Oils and Vinegars, and the Keg Smiths. Special thanks to Hartford Theater and the Coach House. I see you. You and I, are the only ones dressed up here, kind of, right? Yeah, it's, it's very disappointing. So, I know. And, and how many times have you been coming to the Coach House? You know, I've been here for a few years, and I just try to match the environment. It is the season. And Megan, did you help him with this outfit? Did you talk with him, or, or what'd you do? Yeah, I picked it out for him. <laughs> No, it won't put my eye out. Shoot. Shoot. What's your favorite thing to do? My favorite thing to do is make people laugh and smile and have a good time. <laughs>